point, I'd like to introduce Harris Rosen, President and CEO of Rosen Hotels and Resorts. So um, I'm glad that you thanked everybody for me. I appreciate that. So, ditto, 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 ditto. But I'm just going to take a few minutes, uh, and I, I mean only a few minutes, to tell you the story behind the name. Um, I'm named after Harry. Uh, when I was born, my grandma was there. Of course, my mom was there. <laughs> my dad was busy with my mom. And the nurse, I, listen, I, I don't remember it, but my, the nurse asked um, my grandpa, um, what's the baby's name? Now, he was from Ukraine, had a very thick uh, Russian accent. So it sounded something like this, Herr. Well, his name was Harry. Herr. So she wrote down Harris. I'm Harris. I'm, I'm really supposed to be Harry, but I'm Harris. Why? Because Grandma didn't pronounce Harris in the correct way. So, uh, Harry Rosanovsky uh, left Ukraine about 100 years ago. Left a family of a wife and uh, four children. And left for America. As so many people from all over the world have and continue to. He believed that when he landed and started walking the streets, he would find gold. That's what he believed. He was terribly disappointed when that didn't happen. <laughs> but he kind of got himself together and uh, he went through, of course, all of this stuff at Ellis Island. The first thing they did was say, Rosanovsky is something that is too hard to handle. You are now Rosen. So Rosanovsky becomes Rosen in a few minutes. Now he becomes a citizen of the United States of America, living as so many live on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Not a very nice neighborhood. People from Eastern Europe, people from Italy, people from Ireland settled there. It was tough. It was a neighborhood that was then commonly referred to as a very poor neighborhood. Hell's Kitchen. I mean, if it's hot in hell, it must be hot hotter in Hell's Kitchen. I think that's what it was made about. Anyway, he set to work, and um, years went by. And after three years, he rented a little storefront and opened a tiny little restaurant. And when I say tiny, it couldn't accommodate more than 10 people. But he did everything there. And he achieved some success. And he sent for his family. And they came. Wife and four children. Two boys, two girls. They had um, uh, another son. And the son was my dad. Um, at about the same time, from Austria-Hungary, Samuel Rosenhaus, an officer in the Austrian cavalry was told that he had to leave because Jewish people were no longer wanted in the military in Austria. And so with some help from his friends, he left. He left his wife and four children, two boys and a girl. And he also settled on the Lower East Side. But he had a skill. He was a coopersmith. He made bottles, barrels. A lot of barrels. And he sent for his wife after two or three years and the family, and they also had a child, a daughter. The son and the daughter met in high school, fell in love, got married, 
and within a very short period of time had me. <laughs> Less than nine months, I suspect. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was named Harris and grew up in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. Now, we have here in Rosen Center um, a deli. The deli is named Red's. My mom was a redhead. My dad called her Red. She loved pastrami, salami, hard salami, corned beef, all of the deli foods. So we named the deli Red's. Mom would be so happy to be nearby her father-in-law, Harry. Now, in addition to Harry, we have Sam and Bubbies. Those of you who don't know any Yiddish or don't speak Yiddish might not understand that Bubby is grandma in Yiddish. Bubby. She was called Bubby Venus because one day when my dad was there to see my mother-to-be, Venus popped out of the bathroom naked, and so dad <laughs> named her Venus. <laughs> so Bubby Venus and Sam are a couple. Now, you will notice that there's a sign, Sam and Bubby. Near Sam, the name, is a barrel to suggest that Sam made barrels. Beautiful barrel. Back in those days, virtually everything was in a wooden barrel. Wine, beer, just, uh, tomatoes, pickles, sauerkraut, everything in barrels. So he did very well. Near Bumby is something a little bit unusual. It's a tub. What does the tub signify? Well, I'll tell you. One day, one day, I was in their tiny little apartment on Lower East Side, and I had to go to the bathroom, so I opened the door, I heard a scream saying, get out of the bathroom! The smell was awful. It wasn't a poopy smell. <laughs> it was a funny smell. And I said, Bubby, what's going on there? She said, you can't tell anybody, but I'm making vodka. <laughs> so she said, come, I'll show you. In the bathtub were literally hundreds and hundreds of potatoes in various stages of decay. And she said, put your finger in the tub and taste. I did, and I said, oh, it's disgusting. I have never had an alcoholic beverage in my life because every time I do, I think of this. It was horrible. <laughs> so we now have mom near her parents and mom near her father-in-law. And that's one thing that we can do at Rosen Hotels that we don't see much today. It is a family business. And we're not shy about having our family involved. Whether it's Sam and Bubby's, whether it's Harry's, whether it's Red's, whether it's Jack's place, we're proud of our heritage. We're proud of who we are. We're proud of our family. I must tell you this. I do on occasion, when I'm just kind of thinking about things, wish that one day my grandparents could come down and visit me and I would take them on a little tour from the Lower East Side of Manhattan to where we are today is a miracle. Only in America is it possible. And so I will end my little talk, if I can, yes? <laughs> With three words, which come from the bottom of my heart. God bless.
One, two, three.